Are you prepared for death? You, if you live long enough, will lose a loved one. Your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, your husband, your wife, your children, all of you will be tested by death. Recognize, no soul can die except by the permission of Allah. It's already written in a book. Even if you eat the most healthy food, you exercise and you run and you jog and you do all of that. Yet, there's no guarantee that your life would be extended. If it came tomorrow, what did you prepare for it? How many of you have moved from your house in the last five years? Raise your hand. How many intend to move in the future? How many intend to buy a house? This is good. What about that house that all of us will live in, in the neighborhood called the graveyard? Since it is inevitable that you die, then why not prepare for the next home before the hereafter? The great gift that you have right now is the gift of life and a chance and a hope. That moment comes. We cannot delay it. And we would wish to get more time to do more work. Don't gamble and think about the hereafter. I ask you, how many people do you think will attend your janazah? It's an important question. Two people, five people, a hundred people. Because the Prophet Muhammad said that anyone who a hundred people attend their janazah praying for the intercession, asking for Allah's forgiveness, Allah will accept their intercession. How many people would attend your janazah? Think about it. Your mother, your father, your brothers, sisters, your cousins, your friends. They, if they're good Muslims, will go to the grave with you. They will leave you down there in that grave and they will walk away and you will hear their footsteps as they walk away and you'll be in there by yourself. Are you prepared for that? You may not know, realize this, but the people right now are waiting for you. If justice is to come in the world, it will have to come from you. You, the future of Islam, if Allah spares your life and you're around for another 20 years, there's 20 more years of good that you can be doing. 20 more years of service to Allah the Almighty. Be happy to know, alhamdulillah, that you are servants of Allah. Allah is great. You complain that Allah only gave you 20 years, or only gave your child 5 years, or only gave your mother 60 years? Shut up! What is 60 years? What is a hundred years? What is a hundred and fifty years compared with infamy in paradise of the greatness and all the joys and the pleasure? Imagine being in paradise with your grandmother that died years ago, or your grandfather, or your mother, or your daughter, or your son, or your husband, or your wife. Imagine being in paradise together forever. No more death. Ah, I want to get there.